The Meerlicht is built to complement and add to data collected by the SKA. It'll expand the kind of astrophysical science we can do, but there are other benefits too. It'll increase the possibility for scientific collaboration across the globe and it'll have ripple effects through the technological sector. Dr. Fohn Mjwaga, Director General of the South African Department of Science and Technology, is excited to see what was once just an idea come to life. We invested a couple of years ago on an idea of making sure that we take full advantage of uh, the areas that we have in South Africa. Here in Sutherland, uh, at night, uh, the sky is completely, completely uh, free and you can see stars that you can't see in other parts of the world. So we have then uh, been investing in the telescopes here, uh, as you know the Southern African Large Telescope uh, across uh, from here and for the first time uh, now we have this telescope called the Mierlich, which is a telescope uh, which will be tracking observations that will be done by the radio telescope that we invested in. Uh, in Carnarvon. It's the first of its kind, I'm told, by the scientists in the world, and they will be beginning to make uh, observations following the radio telescope that sees a different type of the sky and different stars, uh, and then they will be followed by this telescope immediately. Mjwaga explains how the Meerlicht Optical Telescope will work hand in hand with the SKA's Meerkat Radio Telescope outside Carnarvon. What used to happen before is that when there was a discovery that was done by a radio telescope, uh, the telescope at the back here, which uses a different part of observing in the sky and sees something different, they had to wait for years to apply and get a telescope like this to then follow up on the uh, observations or the discoveries that were made by the radio telescope. Now, this will be done almost immediately. This telescope will be following the observations and the discoveries, if there are any that are made by a radio telescope, 24-7, uh, that's what they told us, is the first in the world that uh, such um, an alignment of two telescopes will, will be done.